Hello and welcome back to my craft room. It's Big Fat Diary Day and it's good news. I've lost another couple of pounds this week. I'm going to slot the way in, in right now. I think you thrilled to bits with that. Um, if you've been following along with me, you'll know that last week I set myself a short term goal to lose another three pounds over the next couple of weeks. Um, so that puts me two thirds of the way there. I've only got to lose one more one more pound this week and that will hit my milestone of my first stone. So um, for anybody that doesn't know, we talk about stones in, in the UK and that's 14 pounds. I think it works out something like 6.35 kilos. Um, so that's really good because that'll be eight weeks. I've lost a, a stone, 14 pounds, 6.35, I think, kilos in my first eight weeks if i if i show you a minute hang on i'm gonna i'm gonna take you to the app thing that i use here we go so this is the this is the home page they're still promoting a slim down for summer challenge i haven't joined that because i kind of think I've, i don't need the extra motivation at the moment I'm, I'm i'm happy with 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 what i'm doing at the minute there's always a recipe of the week it's salmon with a warm spinach and chickpea salad which sounds really nice actually looks that looks right up my alley there's always an exercise of the day this is a stress busting blaster duration nine minutes i like that you get these little little uh, activity snacks i call them just a short just a short little burst of, of activity i can manage that <laughs> here's my current weight so i'm at 12 stone one now um 13 pounds lost still in the obese category but look i'm moving down i'm almost into the just overweight here <laughs> my bmi has come down so if we go to the weight tracker bit you can see it this is this is six weeks if i set it to three months we can see right from the beginning and you can see a steady downward tra trajectory there which is nice to see it's encouraging um it's a little this is where I actually lost three pounds in one week. It's a little dip there, but mostly I've been steadily losing a pound or two a week, which is okay. You know, I've accepted is the best way to do it. So next week will be the end of my eight weeks. Hopefully I'll have hit the stone milestone by then. And it will, I'll also be due to do my measurements because I'm doing that just once every four weeks. Um, I measured at the beginning, 7th of April. I measured again measured again on the 5th of May and I'd lost an inch off my hips and an inch off my waist so hopefully another inch or two this time I certainly feel like my clothes are loose so the top I've got on today I haven't worn for a while because it kind of fit but it just felt a bit kind of tight so I haven't worn it for a while yeah so it shows you your BMI here as well my BMI started at 33.3 it's now 30.9 so I've lost three points off my BMI which is really good to see obviously it's still higher than it should be I think it's meant is it meant to be about 25 so yeah I've got a way to go but moving in the right direction it's nice to have the visual for me the visual thing works my BMR that's my basal metabolic rate in other words how many calories you need just to survive even if you lay flat on your back all day in bed and did nothing that's what you'd be burning um, so that's 1371 so the aim is not to go over that and then any other activity I do during the day is extra calories burnt and you need to be taking in 500 calories less per day than you're using um, in order to lose a pound a week so I must be doing a bit more than that because I've been I've, I've done two pounds this week brilliant so there isn't much more to say today I'm going to keep that really short and sweet um, I was doing these videos on Sundays um, but it's a bit awkward because that's the day that Tom comes over and we do other things and that. so I'm, I'm going to make it Mondays now still doing my way in and registering it on the app on, on the Sunday but I'm now popping on Mondays and let you know how I'm going thank you so much again for all the amazing support the helpful advice and tips that people share and just the general words of encouragement it means such a lot it really really helps to keep me on track if I feel like flagging I just need to think of, I'm going to be talking to you guys on Sunday. <laughs> I don't want to let myself down. I don't want to let you down. And I know that, you know, even if I do have a bad week, I know you'll be really supportive. But I, either way, it just makes a huge difference that, that you're there. And wishing all the best to everybody who's um, travelling this road with me. Um, 
a couple of people have emailed me some of us are sharing or chat chatting about our progress in the big fat diary room in our discord community i'll put my link tree in the description box as usual so you can find your way to the discord community and the facebook group if you would like to um although we don't share the weight thing on 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 the, in the facebook group i think that's all I'm, i need to say this week i'm feeling really upbeat oh i didn't do the twirl i need to do the twirl every week because i'm going to put a little thing together at the end here we go See, this yeah as i say this top is one that i hadn't worn for a while because it was just feeling a bit and like I, with a lot of these tops, I look right at the front and then do this plain sort of clingy back that clings to all your fat rolls, which I hate. So I haven't worn it for a while, but I feel okay in it again now, so that's good. Um, I have been busy starting to do some makeovers on some of the clothes I turfed out of my wardrobe. Uh, not last week, week before. So I shall be sharing some of that very soon if anybody's interested in that. Just turning some of the old tops and things that I can't wear anymore or won't do me any favours into something that might be a bit more me. <laughs> uh, we have our Saturday Night Live, which um, we usually do on the first Saturday of every month. So that's coming up this Saturday coming, which will be the... Hang on a second. Let me just check the date. Sorry about my neighbour's dog. It will be the 1st of June. So this Saturday, the 1st of June, from 8pm to 10pm UK time. It will be to my son Tom and I streaming from here in my craft room. I'm not sure uh, what crafting activity or arting activity I'm going to be doing this time. Um, but I, in practice, I don't usually get very much of that done. It's mostly about the chat, catching up with everybody, having a laugh. I'm hoping to get a guest on again this time. I'm not going to say who yet. So yeah, feel free to come along, bring whatever arting or crafting you, you feel like doing or just bring along a cup of tea or a glass of whatever and uh, and join in the live chat. It's always lovely to have lots of you there joining in. It's always very lively and really fun. I just, yeah. Um, <laughs> last time I was rag rugging, the time before I was making a twiddle muff. The hilarity that ensued. I suppose that's one thing I could do is do a bit more. I might do a bit more work on the muff. <laughs> So it still ain't finished okay um i'm gonna go now stop waffling um thank you very much again to everybody who's left a kind and positive and encouraging comments and good luck to everybody who's walking this path with me we can do we have got this it i just feel so positive to have taken control of it i feel like for the first time in a long time i can i've taken i've taken charge of the situation <laughs> And I'm heading in the right direction and um, it's really nice to have some of you heading heading in that direction with me it's brilliant um, okay um, that's it I'm, I'm really waffling on for no reason at all now thanks very much again for joining me and I will see you again really soon <laughs>